Government in the Appeals, clean on the application of CAT and of T and the Commissioner of Police of the Metropolis. Lord Sumption will explain the judgment of the court. These appeals are about the right of the police to retain information about individuals in a searchable database. The first appeal concerns Mr. Cat. He is a 91-year-old man living in Brighton uh, who regularly participates uh, in political demonstrations, mainly in support of causes associated with the peace movement. These demonstrations include a significant number organized by a group called Smash EDO, whose objective is the closure of a factory in Brighton belonging to a company called EDO, which is said to manufacture components for weapons systems there. Mr. Cat is a peaceful protester, but many other participants in Smash EDO demonstrations have engaged in a variety of crimes against people, property, and public order in pursuit of their objectives. The police monitor these demonstrations and record the names of those present so far as they can be identified. These may feature in reports about particular incidents or in nominal records about particular individuals. Uh, there was once a nominal record about Mr. Cat, but it has long since been deleted. However, Mr. Cat's name continues to feature as a participant in demonstrations, in incident reports, and in nominal reports about other people. He objects to this, mainly because of the stigma of criminality that he says is associated with inclusion in a database of this kind. The second appeal concerns a lady who is referred to in the proceedings as Ms. T. She lives in a block of flats in London. The occupant of a neighbouring flat alleged that she uttered a homophobic insult against him and complained to the police. Without ascertaining her side of the story, the police delivered to her a document called a Prevention of Harassment Letter, which warned her that any further conduct of that kind might lead to her arrest and prosecution for harassment. The ordinary policy of the Metropolitan Police is to retain a record of such incidents for 12 years and a copy of the Prevention of Harassment Letter for seven, although in this case they deleted both after two and a half years, shortly before the case was due to be heard in the Court of Appeal. Both of these appellants accept that the police were entitled in law to make these records, but they say uh, that their retention beyond a limited period was contrary to the, their right to the protection of their private life guaranteed by Article 8 of the Human Rights Convention. Uh, this argument was rejected in both cases by the High Court, but it was accepted by the Court of Appeal. The Supreme Court allows the appeal of the police in the case of, of Mr. Catt by a majority of uh, uh, four to one, and unanimously allows the appeal in the case of Ms. T. The result is that the police have not acted unlawfully in either case. The reasons are set out in a judgment which I have prepared, subject to a qualification in the case of Ms. T, which I shall return to. Article 8 of the Human Rights Convention confers on everyone a qualified right to respect for their private and family life. For many years, this article has been given a very broad meaning by the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. It extends well beyond the protection of privacy in the usual sense of the word to the protection of a person's physical and psychological integrity. The records made by the police of Mr. Katz's attendance at demonstrations were records of events in public places. The record made of the allegation against Ms. T concerned events in the common parts of a block of flats, which is not a public place, but not a private one either. Nonetheless, it has been held in both English and Strasbourg cases that Article 8 may protect public information if it is systematically collected and stored by public authorities in retrievable form in an electronic database. For that reason, this court has no doubt that there has been an interference with the right of both Mr. Cat and Ms. T uh, to respect for their private life. Whether this is contrary to the convention uh, therefore depends on whether it can be justified. For that purpose, the police must show that the retention of the data is in accordance with domestic law and that it is uh, proportionate to some legitimate objective, in this case public safety and the prevention of disorder or crime. In the court's judgment, the retention of the data involved in these appeals was justified. The retention of electronic data by the police is a heavily regulated field in the United Kingdom. 
It is governed by the Data Protection Act, by a mandatory code of practice issued under the Police Act 1995, and by written administrative guidance. Their combined effect is that information can only be stored or disclosed to third parties for proper police purposes. It must be disclosed on request to the subject, with very limited exceptions where disclosure would itself be contrary to, public police to proper police purposes. These principles are enforced by the Information Commissioner, a, a statutory officer uh, with extensive powers to ensure compliance. They are clear, public, and sufficiently precise to protect against the arbitrary or abusive exercise of power. In Mr. Katz's case, the retention of information about his attendance at public demonstrations in records about events or about other persons uh, is a relatively minor interference with his right to private life. It carries no stigma of criminality, since the right of peaceful protest is enshrined in the law of this country, and it implies no criticism of Mr. Catt that he lawfully exercises that right. It is in the nature of police intelligence that it is initially collected relatively indiscriminately, and that its significance only becomes apparent as patterns emerge from the material collected, which may happen uh, a sooner or later, at a sooner or later time. The retention of this information is necessary in order that the police can understand the organization and methods of groups which, unlike Mr. Catt himself, do believe in furthering their political objectives by violence. It also enables the police to plan their own response with the minimum presence required to preserve public order and thereby serves to protect the right of the public to protest peacefully. The long-term consequences of depriving the police of the right to retain such information would be serious, not just in the field of violent demonstrations, but in other fields of policing. In M. T. S. case, while the court is unanimous in allowing the police's appeal, its members differ in their reasons. The majority, comprising Lady Hale, Lord Mance and Lord Toulson, consider that the standard practice of retaining material relating to potential harassment cases for seven or twelve years is lawful, provided that it is flexible enough to allow for deletion when the information is no longer required. Lord Sumption and Lord Newberger consider that the standard periods of seven or twelve years are significantly longer than anything which could be justified for police purposes, but would nevertheless allow the appeal on the ground that in this case the information was deleted after a much shorter period, which was itself defensible as being necessary for proper police purposes.